the Ripple XRP uh, ruling was very favorable to centralized exchanges and, and wallets uh, and anybody who cares about uh, doing things with tokens. Um, There's a number of different other tokenization platforms and methodologies to get things even tokenized that are starting to emerge. So I think that, you know, there is momentum. Financial services are rubbish at R&D because the point made previously. Proven on Flare in a highly, highly decentralized way. Uh, the purpose of doing that is that basically everything in the future is about data. Here, ISO 2022 has achieved some major milestones, both globally and domestically here in Canada. There are a lot more systems that have gone live and still have to go live with ISO 2022. Uh, I'm starting to come to the, the, the realization that, it, that it's not going to be, you know, the, the disruptors aren't going to be the Bitcoins of the world or maybe even the Ethereums or... If you got some bags, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news, no breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra. Bullishness, shout out to the latest sub. Appreciate you stopping by, stuffing some bags, smashing them likeies. Go ahead, throw on those moon suits, throw on those pilot shades. Buckle up, because the future's extra, extra. Bullish, let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse we got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 1.1 trillion down about almost two percent in the past 24 we have btc's dominance 47.6 eth 17.7 we got xrp in that number five spot right around 51 cents still right around two for a dollar down about 2.1 percent in the past 24 we got stellar xlm right around 11 cents btc 27,407. we got eth right around 1650 we got xdc right around a nickel flare 0 0.0107 songbird double zero three nine seven we got a tweet from ripple to kick things off 44 percent of global finance leaders see use as a payment method as the biggest accelerator for the adoption of crypto digital assets learn more about this big opportunity in crypto and digital assets for payments and learn why xrp was built for payments we got another one from ripple we just keep on winning we're pleased to share that ripple as one of this year's fintechs 100 list for our work in modernizing cross-border payments it's an honor to share this recognition alongside other innovators incorporating tech into the world of finance fintech 100 yes ripple once again we got Mary C. Hall. Juniper Research has announced the future digital award winners for FinTech of Payments 2023. The Ripple CBDC platform has won the Platinum Award for CBDC. Innovation, BTC who? ETH who? Crawl walk. Then we rock it. We got Digital Asset Investor. Wow, there's so much in this clip. Lubin even addresses Ripple. Wow, wow, wow. They know what's coming. We know what's coming. They can't stop it. The Ripple XRP uh, ruling was very favorable to centralized exchanges and, and wallets uh, and anybody who cares about uh, doing things with tokens. Um, we were concerned that, that there might be um, FUD rulings. Um, uh, Gary would, would wave his, his arm and declare all tokens uh, officially illegal according to the SEC and uh, uh, and that would be uh, a bit problematic uh, for our business at, at MetaMask. Um, it wouldn't be catastrophic because we're in nearly 200 countries around the world and so we would um, we would lose a, a decent chunk of our revenue but but we would um, continue to operate and, and we'd emphasize other places. Um, so bottom line, we can, uh, as an ecosystem, we can continue to operate globally and in the U.S. Um, kind of unfettered, uh, with much more attention to um, rigor around decentralizing things. Because when things are decentralized, then the uh, uh, Securities Exchange and Centralization uh, Control Commission, um, you know, that's what they're there for. Centralization is something that needs to be regulated. Uh, and uh, XRP. The only legal digital asset with legal clarity in the United States. Maybe BTC, but BTC slow, expensive, can't scale. XRP. You know what's coming. 
We got the Digital Pound Foundation, the National Bank of Georgia has recently named Ripple Labs as a potential tech collaborator as for its impending CBDC pilot project. Digital Joe, Ripple Labs shortlisted by the National Bank of Georgia for Digital Joe CBDC project SEC who? We got Mr. Man XRP. People continually ask why the prices for crypto are still so low. These entities have cash between themselves to transact, but tokenization must happen. Free the standard. I think the, the federation of platforms is helpful to deliver specific things. It does make the challenge of getting liquidity more difficult. So interoperability solutions like fimp 2 p or others are important. Other models of sub-custody across different platforms could be important. Um, the other one that's really sort of challenging is money. Like there is no cash on like I mean we have it internally on our own platform, but there is no solution to get money from one bank to another bank to another bank. So you know solutions that have movement of assets on chain and cash through your fiat, like well that just increases our liquidity risk on entry liquidity risk framework and doesn't solve a problem for us. So I think the faster we can get to a point where there is a wider selection of cash on ledger solutions that are able to be credited and debited across different banks, because that's all it is. It's a you know, if someone wants to buy a bond that custodies at JP Morgan and the sellers at custody of JP Morgan, the buyer custodies at State Street, like we need to move the bond and then be short cash, long cash, that's it. Like, you know, we can do credits and debits through SWIFT, we can do credits and debits across blockchain. Like, let's just figure out a way that we kind of get there. I mean, you know, the, the, the technology for that um, and the technology partners I work with hate me saying this, but it is, it is an engineering challenge. It's ones and zeros, put them in the right order and we can solve that. The, the legal bit of that is, is, is quite complicated. And I think that's where, you know, as you get past that initial risk appetite to do something and, and take some risk, and you've got to be in a market where people are taking real risk, otherwise it's just fun. You know, well, you've got to have real risk in it, and otherwise you don't get to the bottom of the legal question. That's where I think we start to see movement. Um, and there's enough, there's enough, you know, happening in the market. There were five or six digital issuances um, in the period sort of leading up to the end of 2021 and the sort of the years. There's been 20 since November 2021 to February 2023. Like, you know, there is an appetite and a cadence growing. There's a number of different other tokenization platforms and methodologies to get things even tokenized that are starting to emerge. So I think that, you know, there is momentum. Financial services are rubbish at R&D because the point made previously investment horizon is like one year, not two years. We need to get better at it. Um, we need to accept that enough economics to wash your face is good and then we can develop sort of you know multiple returns after that xrp hidden in plain sight the universal bridge the tokenization of all value welcome to the internet of value we got one from payments here the payment landscape is currently undergoing a revolution as innovation around programmability immutability and global transaction delivery continue to push the industry forward where do they get a hold of that auto Join experts from Ripple and you, supplier, to discuss 10 five tough questions unlocking blockchain value with the global payment infrastructure. All worlds lead to the bridge XRP. We got Expector. Everything in the future is about data. Hugo Filion, Flair. We are blockchain for data. Um, so we have uh, EVM powered blockchain, uh, which has a number of protocols, three to be precise, that allow. Uh, data to be proven onto Flare in a highly, highly decentralized way. Uh, the purpose of doing that is that basically everything in the future is about data. Um, almost all applications that you know people want to build will end up having a data component. Um, delivering data in a centralized way, which is the current way that that happens, uh, is is dangerous, um, risky, censorable. Uh, and antithetical to the values that um, crypto and the industry should generally have. And my day-to-day -day at, at the moment is, one, trying to get the message out, uh, two, um, thinking about, okay, we've got all these protocols, how do we get them to market, how do we get people to use them, how do we get people to know about them, how do, uh, how do people interact with them, what are the use cases, how can we help them do that, um, how do we create tutorials, um, you know, who do we need to hire to, 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 to better propagate what we're doing? Because, you know, these networks, they're all about network effects. So my job really is thinking about um, how do we generate network effects? How do we get to developers? How do we get to partners? Um, and that process is going pretty well. Um, so we're pretty excited about 
what we're doing and what's coming up. We got Mr. Man XRP ISO 2022 has gone live, but there's still many systems that need to go live until every system goes live. We're in a coexisting phase. This coexisting phase comes to an end November 2025. Here, ISO 2022 has achieved some major milestones, both globally and domestically here in Canada. You could see in the red the implementation of ISO 2022 in CBPR Plus, Euro 1, Target 2, and our very own links. So now we have ISO 2022 implemented in our cross-border space, our European system, and our Canadian high-value payment system. Now, what you've seen on this slide is a fraction of the systems and platforms that are currently live with ISO 2022. And we're only showing the high-value payment system. There are a lot more systems that have gone live and still have to go live with ISO 2022. And until every jurisdiction is live, we are living in a what we call a coexistence phase with the MT messages with a planned end date of November 2025. 2025, right around the corner. Load up. I used to have some time, XRP. Two for a dollar. We got a rocket launch and the bear market prices are falling and trading volumes are decreasing, not only for cryptocurrencies, but also for the lesser extent for NFTs. Many NFT holders are facing the problem of trying to sell their NFTs for months without success. But what should you do if you need money urgently? What can be done in this situation? One option is to request a price below the floor as this increases the chance of selling. But how much should you decrease the price? In this case, the XRPL NFT auction could be helpful to you. Simply set a minimum acceptable price to start the auction and then let the excitement of the participants do its job. Guaranteeing that you will sell your NFT. Want to try? Check out Rocket Launch. Links down below. We got sentiment feed. October started with a bang and then calmed down in a hurry. But there is a reason to be optimistic with the well accumulation in the supply on exchanges at about a six year low. Check out our latest monthly report and read what to be on the lookout for sentiment feed. We got one from blockchain backer. The Dow Jones better find itself a reversal pretty quick if it wants a new high because structurally it's looking pretty great depression. Do me. We got one from Eggrack Crypto XRP average sentiment oscillator update. The bullish cross has arrived. What's next? Historical data reveals that it took 275 days for cross A and 270 days for cross B to materialize. This measurement is made from the bullish cross point to the peak of the chart. If XRP doesn't make a substantial move this time, it will mark the first instance of this oscillator giving a false signal. We still have time. XRP army, stay ready. Fortune is knocking on the door and the resilient XRP community has endured countless trials. You know what's coming. They know what's coming. They can't stop it. It's time to reap the rewards. We got another one for Mr. Man XRP. They're starting to realize that the disruptors aren't going to be the big coins of the world. Where do they get a hold of that oil? Uh, I'm starting to come to the the, the realization that it, that it's not going to be you know the, the disruptors aren't going to be the bitcoins of the world or maybe even the Ethereum's or DeFi, but are going to be adoption of stable coins and or tokenized deposits. And you know, best way to think about these things are digital tokens of physical dollars. And so you may be thinking, well, why would we need a digital token of physical dollars? The reason being is you know. Think about how banking works today. We've got every bank and every credit union has its own its own books, their own set of ledgers. And anytime that money is moved, it's mostly moved electronically and it's actually not moved. It's just that, you know, two institutions will update nearly simultaneously or not necessarily simultaneously. Um, the debits and credits on their ledgers to reflect the quote money movement. And the problem with that is because it isn't always simultaneously and because it does require um, a fair degree of of kind of double checking and reconciliation. That's a slow process and it's an expensive process. Um, XRP fixes this and it's not the Bitcoins or the ETH of the world. XRP, the Ripple Net. In a single API, everything you needed to move value, messaging, and settlement all in one. XRP, the one true killer app. With that being said, bag man and bag ladies, Elon Musk, as a summer intern many years ago, I wrote a software for video games at a company called Rocket Science. This was long before SpaceX was even conceived. Didn't realize until a friend gave me a copy today that it included me in the credits. We got Lodestar, another 
Glitch in the Matrix, XRP, another XRP confirmation. Ripple me this, ripple me that. We got Load Star 3 from Bearable Guy. One, two, three. What an incredible time to be alive and an incredible time to be an XRP holder. What fortunate we are to see this great unfolding and unraveling of a money system that has imprisoned countless people for eons with chains of debt, doubt, and despair. XRP is the chance that people all over the world have been looking for to set things right. Crawl walk, then we rock it. The best is still yet to come. You better load up on those utility bags. They know what's coming. We know what's coming. And they can't stop it. Where will those bags be? When that regulation jar molasses finally breaks open and XRP's true price is finally set free. Lady Later glitches. glitches. I am the XRP bagman, the moon commander, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing them likes for some more. Moon o'clock news. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD. Vibe those bags. Don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there. Drop a comment down below. Drop an elbow on that like button. From the top ropes. Catch you up here. Top floor. On the mothership for the moon party. BYOB. Bring your own bags. Be your own bank. Peace out, crypto ghost. Keep on holding the standard. Stand, standard. standard, standard, standard. We hold all the standard. Stand hard. Keep on holding the standard. Stand, standard. We hold all the standard. Stand hard. Keep on holding the standard. Stand, standard. standard, standard, standard. We hold all the standard. Stand hard. Keep on holding the standard. Stand, standard. Hold on the standard, standard. Send that money super fast on that ripple net. I ain't got time to be playing around with them little jets. Crawl.